Do you want to learn how to script but you don't know how or where to start? Well, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be showing you 5 different ways to effectively learn scripting so you can finally create your dream game and take your game development to the next level. Alright, I already know that this first one's gonna ruffle a few feathers. Chat GPT. Yeah, I said it. And before you go sprinting to the comments section with, uh, you shouldn't use chat GPT or it's not real scripting, let me just stop you right there and ask why not? I've seen probably like 10 different videos where ChatGPT just straight up builds a fully functional Roblox game from scratch. But even beyond that, it's literally a free personal tutor that doesn't sleep. Wanna learn how to make a trampoline? Just go and type, hey ChatGPT, how do I script a trampoline in Roblox? Boom, instant answer. And the best part, you can interrogate it like a sleep deprived detective at 3am. What does this line do? Why did you write it like that? Explain it like I'm 5. And it will, no complaints, no attitude, 24-7, just pure script enlightenment on demand. Guys, this is hands down one of the fastest ways to actually learn scripting, and I don't care what anyone says, this is probably the MVP on the whole list. Alright, so on to number two, toolbox models. So Roblox Studio actually has its own marketplace where people can upload assets, which are most of the time free for other people to use in their game. And yeah, I mean, I can already hear the whining incoming about how you're not a real dev if you use models, but just relax, nobody's winning awards for doing everything the hard way. Use the models, learn from them, I'm not saying you should just grab a full obby from the toolbox, slap your name on it like you built it during a power nap and call it a day, but if you're using models to learn, that's just smart, right? You get instant access to working scripts and assets that you can just open and uh, reverse engineer, and sure, I mean I hear people talking all the time about how, oh no, toolbox models have viruses. Um, and this is partly true, every once in a while you'll run into a model with a garbage script, that tries to lag your game, but let's be real. Deleting it takes 5 seconds and half a brain cell, and these aren't even real viruses, so there's no need to worry. Really quick before we get to number 3, if you're getting value out of this so far, please make sure to like the video and subscribe for more scripting tips and dev content, it helps a ton and it lets me keep making videos like this. And if you've got any questions about scripting or just want help with something specific, drop a comment below, I'll do my best to help out or even turn it into a future video. Alright guys, time for number 3, YouTube tutorials. And yeah, we're talking about the good old how to script in Roblox rabbit hole. If you're not using YouTube to learn scripting, you're either a genius or you're just making life way harder than it needs to be. Because YouTube has everything. I mean it, everything. Thing. From how to make a working gun to how to script a cutscene where your character gets hit by a bus and survives for some reason, you name it. Someone's probably made a tutorial on it with overly loud music in the background to accompany it. And sure, not all of these tutorials are winners. Some of them sound like they were recorded with a toaster and just have intros longer than the actual video itself. But honestly, that's just part of the charm. You find weird ones, you skip them, you find a decent creator, and boom, you're learning for free. And honestly, it's kind of amazing. I mean, you're watching someone build something in real time. You see the exact steps they take, the bugs they run into, how they fix them, stuff you won't get from a copy and paste answer on some dead forum. And the more you watch, the more you start picking up on patterns, and your brain starts to recognize the, the things. And you'll go, you know, wait a second, I've seen this before, and then suddenly you're recognizing the code and actually writing it yourself. And also, don't sleep on the comment section. Half the time, they're just first and uh, bots trying to sell crypto, but sometimes you'll find real gold in there, people clarifying stuff, asking pretty good questions, and linking other resources that you might find helpful. The bottom line is, YouTube tutorials are one of the best, most underrated ways to learn scripting. Just watch a bunch of stuff, try a bunch of stuff out, mess it up, rewatch it, and do it again, and you'll be surprised by how fast things start to click. Alright guys, this next one is criminally underrated. Like, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this one. Uncopy blocked games. So, if you don't know what these are, uncopy blocked games are basically Roblox games where the creator has made the place file public. And that means you can literally download the full game into Roblox Studio and mess around with it however you want. It's almost like someone just handing you the keys to their fully working game and just saying, you know, go ahead, take it apart. And no, this isn't stealing. These games are made on copy blocked on purpose. Developers do it to help others learn or just to share cool projects with the community. You can explore the structure of a complete game, see how they organize their scripts, how different systems interact, UI, leaderboards, events, animations, everything. Um, it's not like a tutorial that just shows you one mechanic. This is the whole picture. And yeah, some of them are buggy or outdated, but even those are valuable. You know, you get to debug stuff, you get to improve systems, maybe even rebuild things cleaner than before. 
and you also get access to high quality assets which is a huge bonus you know if you need a uh, working inventory system for example or a cool animation setup a custom built lobby anything like that for a separate game there's a good chance you'll find what you need in an uncopy blocked game so don't sleep on this uh, search for uncopy blocked games download a few you know start reverse engineering them it's one of the best hands-on real world learning experiences you can get without spending a dime and I will be linking a few of these games in the description if you guys want to go take a look. Alright guys, and last but definitely not least, we have the Roblox Dev Forum. Now, I'll keep this one a bit briefer than the other ones because I'm sure most of you already know about this one, but if you've never used it before, think of it as a giant hub where serious developers go to ask questions, share tips, and uh, break down complex systems. It's kind of like the scripting version of a cheat code library, except it's legit and it's packed with real uh, and mostly tested answers. Run into a bug, search the form. Chances are someone's already dealt with it, and if not, you can post your issue as long as you're clear and respectful, and experienced devs will usually jump in with actual solutions to help you. But honestly, the best part isn't even the Q&A. It's the tutorials and deep dives that people post. Stuff like how to set up data stores, custom UI animations, full inventory systems. You're learning directly from people who've already built what you're trying to build and uh, sometimes even Roblox staff chimes in. So yeah, the dev form definitely isn't super flashy, but it's powerful, and you should treat it like your scripting encyclopedia. The more you use it, the more you'll start thinking and scripting like a real developer. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.